I know I have an Ayava Agamoto necklace around here. I just don't know where it's packed away. I totally would have worn it to theme out this video. Sorry. <laughs> uh, the red lighting will have to do. Hey, what's up, you guys? Silent Bailey here, and yes, welcome to a video that is not the uh, Hell of a Boss episode 6 reaction. <laughs> I can explain. So on Saturday, I saw a tweet from Vivian Madrano, the creator of Hello Boss, saying tomorrow, and it basically implied, oh yeah, episode 6 comes out day after this tweet. And I was like, cool, it comes out on Sunday. I have time to finish some stuff that I'm doing on Saturday, and I'll be able to record my reaction on Sunday when the episode comes out. And then literally half an hour later, everyone's saying like, oh my god, the episode was so great. I'm like, what the fuck? What did, what? what where'd you see it? Yeah, I, I, I neglected to read that little part on the tweet where it said, posted 13 hours ago. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I said, well, okay, I'll just go ahead as planned and record the episode reaction on Sunday, and that's fine. And I'll go ahead and post that after the unboxing video, which I am nearly done editing. But on Sunday, not only did I have work, but I also woke up with a uh, blister in the inside of my mouth, which I know might be TMI, but just so you guys know, the reason why this is important is because not only did it hurt to talk, it hurt to make facial expressions, and worst of all, it hurt to eat. Yeah. Monday, I was also very busy, and yeah, the mouth sore was still there, and it still hurt. And then there was news on Monday of people talking about the Spider-Man trailer, and I was like, oh my god, it dropped! Like, I have to do a reaction video to that too, and I was like, what am I gonna do? Oh, it's just a leak. Okay, good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait. I have time. I can wait till it actually drops, and I can focus on Hello Buster. So, did it? Why did you drop it, Marvel and Sony? So yeah, now I have two things on my plate that I gotta react to in addition to finishing editing that unboxing video. <laughs> it's fine, we're fine, it's fine. Tuesday I woke up, I saw the mouth sore, it wasn't as painful, so I thought, all right, I have a hair appointment in like the very early afternoon, have to eat lunch, small block of time, free, and then I got a seven hour shift at work until nighttime. And so yeah, now it is Wednesday, and I did work, but I had enough free time during the day afterward to do this. And uh, good news, the mouth sore is fully gone, so we are good to go for a full on expressive emotive reaction. I'm still gonna go ahead and do the trailer reaction first, and then I will go ahead and right after I finish recording this, record the episode six reaction. It's also great because that means I can stop avoiding social media like the plague. So yes, Marvel and Sony did go ahead and drop the new teaser trailer, or the first teaser trailer actually, for Spider-Man No Way Home, the third movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe's Spider-Man trilogy. And yes, the teaser trailer was actually leaked first, as I mentioned prior, so that's probably why they decided to drop it now. When I tell you how excited I am for this, you have no idea because I love Spider-Man. He's definitely in my top five of the Marvel Cinematic Superheroes. I do genuinely love what Marvel has done with Spider-Man. I think Tom Holland is a really great choice in terms of casting. But yeah, number one uh, does actually have to go to Doctor Strange. Uh, he is my favorite, not just because he's played by Benedict Cumberbatch, although that he is the reason why I first found out about the character. I do genuinely love the character for his own, you know, merits and for his own thing. And you can imagine how happy I was when I saw the thumbnail and I got to see him right there. Marvel has kept pretty tight lip of like what is going down. There have been so many speculations, especially when we found out that um, the original actor for Dr. Octopus, when we heard the rumor like slash confirmation, but kind of not confirmation that he was cast, we were like, what? Like, are we bringing multiverse into this? Are we getting like Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield? Like what is going on? Personally, I've also tried to just stay away from a lot of like the speculation just cause I want to kind of go in as blind as possible. So forgive me if I've kind of left anything out, <laughs> left anything out. Y'all are probably thinking, girl, shut up, just get to the reaction, um, which we're going to get to, I promise. But yeah, apart from that, the only thing I know for sure is that Doctor Strange is going to be in the movie, but I don't know what it's going to be about. I figure that maybe Peter goes to him for help in terms of the whole identity has been revealed thing. I don't know how long that's going to be in terms of a subplot or if that's the main plot. So yeah, hopefully the Caesar trailer at least answers some of those questions. It's probably going to raise even more, but uh, that's, that's that's part of the course with Marvel, ain't it? Before we do that, we of course have to get some disclaimers out of the way. Disclaimer number one, I do not own any of this footage that I am reacting to. This all belongs to Marvel and Sony. I am just a simple lover of all things Marvel that wants to get her reaction out there. So yeah, fair use, all that fun stuff. Disclaimer number two, um, if you haven't seen the trailer already, 
what are you doing here? Go watch it. Don't be like me that waited way too long for it. Also, how have you not been spoiled already by social media? But that's besides the point. Go watch it on either Marvel or Sony's YouTube channels and then come back and watch my reaction so that way it's way more enjoyable for you. And then thirdly, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so that way you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Like I said, I just uploaded an unboxing video and my next video is definitely going to be the Hell of a Boss episode 6 reaction. So if you're waiting for that one in particular, definitely subscribe and ring the bell to be notified when I upload so that way you actually know when it drops and you can enjoy it at your leisure. With all that being said, let's get into this reaction. I just realized that this is my first movie trailer reaction on the channel. Ooh, I've done uh, trailer reactions for like music videos before and songs, but I've never done one for a movie trailer. How exciting. Alrighty, so I've got the volume turned up, I've got the brightness turned up, and this is the Spider-Man No Way Home official teaser trailer. We're gonna get started in three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, the train, what? Oh, okay, that's just the little... Oh, okay, this, this is a good one. Some suggest that Parker's powers include the male spider's ability to hypnotize females. Oh, They're so cute together, but... Oh, God, they're writing articles about him. Can we just, like, stay up here all day? It is so crazy down there. Oh, I bet it is after all that. <gasps> oh, public enemy number one? did not kill Mysterio. They arrested him! The drums that are yours. Does any part of you feel relieved about all this? What do you mean? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, they're, they're just surrounding him. No, stop! To people. For the record, I never wanted mm -hmm. to lie. Poor thing. Tell someone that you're oh my god, they're all after him. They're all following him. But this isn't about me. Oh. This is a lot of people. They're going after his family. I'm thinking about how to fix all of this. <laughs> That's how you remember him? Oh, oh what do you think? Oh, do I owe the pleasure? I'm sorry. Oh my god! Wait, why is everything snowing? Stage at the universe together. I think we're beyond you calling me, sir. Oh. Hey, Steven. <laughs> that feels weird, but I'll allow it. <laughs> when Mysterio revealed mm -hmm. my identity, my entire life oh, was man. I was oh. wondering if maybe you could make it so that he never did. I suspected. Oh, oh look at him. Don't cast that spell. Woo! It's too dangerous. I won't. I won't. Oh my god, wait. I know it! He's just like, okay, no, I won't. I said, well, I was about to forget that Peter Parker is Spider-Man. Wait, everyone? Wait. He's gonna make everyone forget? Wait. That's not how the spell works. But what are his friends? Mm. Stop tampering with the spell. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god, this looks so cool, but also Peter, he needs to concentrate. Oh, oh shit. Oh no, 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 no. That looks bad. Bad, bad. Oh, Christmas, yes! Oh, snap! OG Doctor Strange feels those effects. Oh my god, stop! Team up! Oh my god! Oh, snap! Oh, <laughs> he's giving a talking to. Oh, happy! Wait! Oh god! Wait! Wait, is that like lizard? Hold on! Oh no, oh snap. Wait! <gasps> Dr. Octopus! Dr. Uh, yeah, Dr. Octopus! Doc Ock! Hello, Peter. He knows him! But that's not your Peter! <gasps> oh my god, oh my god. December 17th. Yo, I'm there. My tickets are bought. Oh my god. I, I can't, I can't. Oh my god. No, oh. Oh no, oh. Oh no, this is. This is bad. <laughs> this is bad. Huh. You know, I was gonna say at one point, I, like seeing Doctor Strange and doing his whole magic thing, I was about to be like, my boy is thriving. That don't look like thriving. <laughs> that looks like a shit show. <laughs> oh no. Alrighty, so theory one about Peter going to Doctor Strange hoping that he can help undo the whole thing, that was correct. I did not expect to see Wong there. I'm so happy to see Wong. Even if that's his only moment in the film, I'll be like, you know what, Wong, you are a real player. And you know what? <laughs> Steven should have listened to you because now 
everything looks like it's about to go wrong. All right, going in order, that beginning, like him, uh, Peter talking with MJ about the whole thing, her trying to make him laugh with like the whole stories they're making up. Very cute. I really, I, I'm so glad they got together in the second movie. I really hope they stay together because this whole thing with, oh yeah, this spell is gonna make everyone forget. I'm like, but also that's kind of what like that situation, her finding out that he's Spider-Man got them together in the first place. Even though she likes him for him and not just because he's Spider-Man. Seeing everyone at, go after Peter Parker and seeing like the media harass and seeing him get arrested, that broke my heart. I'm like, no, he's a good boy. He, he does his best. He's been through enough, man. He's been through enough. And of course, like the fact that now they're go like the police are after, you know, his friends, his aunt, you know, Happy possibly. Who was after Happy? Someone was pointing guns at Happy. I'm like, no, 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 you leave Happy alone. But yeah, no, like seeing like everyone just kind of like swarming him, like demonizing him, you know, just poking at him like, you know, he's like some experiment and stuff. That's, that's just really sad. And that's probably like the thing he worried about the most other than enemies coming after his loved ones. Which, you know, we saw that in the second. We saw his enemy, Mysterio, go directly after the people he cared about. So it looks like this movie is not only going to be part of that, but also the fear and also like that feeling of everyone watching you and poking at you and like treating you as you're the enemy while we the audience and his friends know of course he, he's totally innocent. I, I gotta say the way that he remembers about Doctor Strange I just that just made me laugh because well I mean first off they look so like him. I'm like what is what are these little Halloween decorations that look exactly like Doctor Strange and where can I get some? I want to know why the Sanctum is like a frozen wonderland. I know that it like something had to involve that because again set picture but also the Funko that was released to Doctor Strange for uh, No Way Home is like him with the little hoodie and the cape and the, the like work boots which by the way seeing that in person <laughs> you know I thought I thought I couldn't love anything more than casual Stephen Strange in a cardigan from Infinity War. This is definitely making a strong argument in favor of, <laughs> and like I said, seeing Wong was great. And you know, that little moment where he's just like, listen, we saved the world. You can, you, you don't have to call me Strange. He's like, Steven. He's like, it's weird. I don't know how I feel about it, but okay. Listen, Steven, it's better than him thinking that Doctor Strange is just your superhero name instead of your actual legal title, um, or even taking a page out of Cassilius's book from the first Doctor Strange movie calling him Mr. Doctor. Uh, you can take what you can get. Yeah, and him going behind Wong's back. On the one hand, I'm like, yeah, that's kind of in character because he did that in the first movie. He did the whole like, I'm gonna steal books from the library and astro project while I'm sleeping so I can read more. But on the other hand, you know, my dude, it's been a while since you've been a student at uh, Camartage. I feel like you would know better by now, especially like after everything that happened with this big war and endgame. I feel like you would listen to Wong a little more if he tells you don't do the thing. That scene of him doing the spell looks so cool. Listen, one of the things I love about having Doctor Strange in any Marvel movie is the way that they, you know, portray the magic. Of course, the first Doctor Strange movie, it's definitely like right up there in terms of all of those trippy effects, but I'm talking about the actual spell casting. The first movie showed it really well in the way like the gold and like the the little shields and things like that. We got to see a little bit more of that, just a hint in Thor Ragnarok. And of course the fight scene between him and Thanos in Infinity War was just, oh, just mwah, amazing. So this is definitely like in that same category of the spell casting, just to see that looks so cool. But of course, you know, just him, Kind of giving that, oh yeah, everyone's gonna forget that you're Spider-Man. And then here comes Peter, just like, everyone? But like, can we negotiate? Like, is there a way that we can just slip in some names, be like, except for these two little asterisk, be like, not include Aunt May, Ned, MJ, Happy. And him just like, you need to stop talking, I gotta concentrate. And then just, boom, the spell exploded. <laughs> And yeah, that effect, by the way, was just amazing. Like, just looks so cool. And it makes me wonder, like, he's like, oh yeah, now you've done it. You, you mess with, you know, reality and space and maybe time as well. And it makes me wonder what is the after effect of that? Because we see, you know, similar to the first Doctor Strange movie, when they were in the um, mirror dimension, all of the buildings caving and stuff, we understood that that was the mirror dimension and just, just how the world works. Magic is more, you know, potent and powerful and you can bend and build uh, like, and just move all the buildings all the way you want and that's what happened. But in this case, I wonder, is that the same thing or not? I don't think so, because if it were the mirror dimension, it would be very easy to get out. You could just sling ring out of there. But in this in this case, it seems like it's 
show me the rules. And if that's the case, yikes, that's gonna be a lot of death and a lot of cleanup. But on the other hand, I think that's gonna be more than that because we got Doc Ock and then we also have like the Green Goblin. I heard his laugh and I, I'm sorry, I said during the, I think I said during the reaction, the lizard, I meant the Green Goblin, which by the way, if, are we gonna get Willem Dafoe back? Can we please get Willem Dafoe back? Listen, if we got Alfred Molina, we can get Willem Dafoe back. I love him as the Green Goblin. But my point remains, if we're getting all these like old Spider-Man villains, does this mean that like dimensions were broken too and so now we're getting villains from other Spider-Mans? Are we gonna get the other Spider-Mans in this case? Is all of that? Oh, I haven't been contacted just a lie probably, but you know, speculation. For legal purposes, it's all speculation. And by legal purposes, I mean actual purposes. I know jack shit. <laughs> Magic Dad giving him the scold and just like, listen, this is what happens when you try to live double life which does make me wonder what the conflict is going to be in that case like are they actually going to get to undo everything and just keep the secret identity is he going to embrace it like in the comics where uh, I think there's a point in time where he just kind of reveals and just like yep I'm Spider-Man and people know it's very very interesting to see where and what direction they go from here in terms of the secret identity and stuff I'm trying to think is there anything else um oh yeah the effects of course like the effects remind me uh, so much of the OG Doctor Strange film which makes me really happy because I love those effects I love the way they made the world look so trippy especially during the fight scenes the creativity that they use to make like the fights work around the way the world was caving in around them and it doesn't look like it's just New York in this case but also you know that train sequence you know we have uh, Spider-Man jumping around the train you have Doctor Strange like warping and doubling and stuff and he's not wearing the cloak which by the way that's another thing that I really am excited to see back again I'm so happy that we're gonna get the cloak of location back please let him get his screen time I love him so much he had a little bit of screen time in Infinity War and it was that little bit, it was just perfect. I do wonder how this is gonna lead into uh, the sequel Doctor Strange movie, Multiverse of Madness. The way I think we all kind of understood it was that Wanda, because of the events of WandaVision, you know, at the very end, we see that she's using the Dark Home and she is probably going to rip apart dimensions in order to get her kids back. And we thought, okay, well, here comes Doctor Strange. She's gonna have to fix it. And then we have Loki, which at the end of season one, it was actually Sylvie um, who, you know, kind of broke everything. And basically now we thought, okay, well now Strange is gonna have to fix that too. And that's probably why we suspected even more that Loki's gonna be in the film as well. The reason why I bring that up is because now I'm wondering if this spell that he did in order to help Peter that Wong told him not to do, if this is the spell that causes events to happen as well like in terms of the multiverse breaking even further and all of those three things combined the things caused by wanda by strange and also by a loki variant are going to be what has to be fixed in the second doctor strange movie i don't know at this point i'm just speculating a lot um so that's gonna be where i leave it for now i am very very highly anticipating waiting and please for the love of god put on your masks get vaccinated because I really want to see this in the theater, all right? I know a lot of things are being watched at home. It's great, it's comfortable, it's fine. But this, I want to see this in a theater. But yeah, that's going to be the end of this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you thought of the No Way Home trailer. I feel like I keep calling it Far From Home trailer. I'm sorry. But yeah, definitely let me know what was your favorite part of the trailer, what character you were really excited to see, and what are your theories of what you think are going to happen in the movie? Are they the same as mine? Maybe they're different. I don't know. I like variety. So definitely sound off in the comments below and subscribe for more. You can check out my last video right up here. It was my unboxing video for my Coco Dye haul, which Spoiler alert, actually got rained on. And even though I made a TikTok of it showing that everything was okay and you kind of already know what I got, definitely check out the video anyway because that way you can find out what was inside of what I got. Or if you want to check out my last reaction video, you can watch that right up here. It was my reaction to BTS's latest music video for their song, Permission to Dance. And I, yes, I did actually record that one a little long while ago, but I finally got it edited and posted. So yeah, definitely check it out and give it some love. The links for my social medias are in the description below. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. It is on my TikTok where you can find the video of me reacting to my packages being rained on and me trying to find out in a panic if they're okay. Um, it's pretty funny. It kind of went viral. So yeah, definitely check it out if you want a good little laugh. <laughs> and of course you can follow me on my social medias to find out more updates on when I'm going to be uploading things and how the editing process is going so that way you guys have a better idea of how long it takes to put out these videos. <laughs> Thanks again so much for watching you guys. I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!